Hey, I'm Sam from the Aragon Growth Guild. Today I'll be showing you how to add new members into your DAO, both token-based and wallet-based. So let's go. To add a member to your DAO, you're gonna to go to the community tab from your DAO dashboard. From this tab, you can see all of the token holders in your DAO and how many tokens they hold. Uh, I want to mint more tokens and add a new member, so I'm going to click this blue button here. And I'm going to mint tokens. So you need to create a proposal to mint governance tokens um, so that all the DAO members can vote and uh, have transparency of what's going on. So I'm going to add a wallet address. I'm going to choose how many tokens I want to assign to this address. Uh, this is 22.2% of the allocation, so you can see how it changes as I adjust the token percentage. So you can always see how many tokens and what percentage this new wallet is going to have if the uh, proposal is passed. I can also add another wallet here so I can have multiple wallets receiving tokens in the same proposal. I'm going to remove this. I'm going to keep it at two tokens for this wallet. And then I'm going to click Next. Okay, now you initiate the vote. You can choose a start time, so you can go with right now, or a specific date and time where you can open up a calendar and choose a date that you want it to start. I'm going to go with now, and then same with the end date. You can choose a duration, so one day, two days, however long you want or you can choose a specific date and time. So again, you can open up this calendar here, choose it there. The end date needs to be later than the minimum duration that you set when you created your DAO. So I chose one day, so one day is the shortest time I can have my proposal live. I'll click Next. Now you create the proposal. Give it a quick title. Um, a quick summary. And then you can also add a body of the proposal. So you can see there are formatting options here because this is for longer text if you want a full post, for example. And then resources, you can add links to maybe an external forum post or a Twitter thread or anything like that. I'll click Next. Now I'm going to review my proposal to make sure everything's good to go. You cannot edit this once it's live, so I'm gonna just double check everything. This is how it's going to look when it's live. Everyone's gonna be able to see exactly what's happening if the proposal passes. So two of my EXT tokens are going to get minted and sent to this wallet address. And then if it, pass if it passes, Two new tokens will be in existence, one new holder with a total of nine tokens. So I'm going to publish it. You'll just have to pay a small gas fee associated with the blockchain you chose. And then confirm it. Now that it's been executed, I can open the proposal. So here's the proposal to add this member to our DAO. Um, the voting is going to begin in nine minutes. So as soon as that starts, I can vote. And then I can see the actions here. So this is gonna very clearly add a new member. And when that gets started, I'll be able to see the breakdown and the voters and all that good info. Let's also cover how to add and remove members of a multi-sig DAO. So I'm going to start from my dashboard and then click Community. You can see all of the members in my wallet-based DAO. Then I'm going to click Manage Members. So you can add wallets. I'm just going to paste in a wallet I want to add. And then you can also remove wallets here. For this one, let's just add a wallet. Click Next, then you initiate the vote. So you choose a start time and an end time. 
I'm gonna keep it at now and keep the duration, it's at five days. So I'll click next. Now I'll create that proposal. So we're going to add a new wallet to our DAO. Then you can also add a body and resources. Click next, then review it. You'll see exactly what's going to happen when the proposal passes. Publish it, pay a small gas fee, confirm. Okay, now you can open your proposal. So here's the proposal. It's going to begin in nine minutes. Uh, the other wallet addresses will just need to approve or deny this action. And if they approve it, then this wallet will be added to your DAO.